today's show is a very interesting show. We've got James Knowles coming in uh, to talk with us about the Roger Smith sign and the nature of the building as an ornamental um, object. Stay tuned for our Roger Smith Live broadcast. I'm James Knowles here for Roger Smith News. It's like a dance. It's a dance of metal. Years ago, when I was first making sculpture, I began making these things with uh, tin cans. I used to take uh, probably dog food cans, if I remember right. Alpo dog food cans, and we cut them up with a pair of shears and, and assemble them with solder. Pretty and varied and manipulatable and very much like a drawing. Uh, in a way, it's a little ode to the ornamental tradition of New York. A, an ornament factor which they added to the Chrysler building, for instance, which was the same old building that we're, that we're working with, st uh, steel and, and brick, but they added these ornaments to the building. And that, those, those ornaments are, uh, they work. They distinguish the building. I like the scale and the fun of it in a city. It should be an evolution from the building, not an imposition, but at the same time it should have a sense of modernity about it and uh, relevance to the energy in the hotel. These are very, very fresh and they are not known in advance. It's very, very much uh, serendipitous, if you will, or just I know the process will bring me uh, wonderful things and I try to stay at the edge of the process, at the edge of the creation, at every moment, with the idea that I'm looking for the next wonderful thing to do with that piece. And so the assemblage of those wonderful things that I've been able to discover and to uh, avoid overthinking them. Yeah, that's where I am, uh, artistically. Remarkable, you know, moment in your history as you go live, Roger Smith Live. Roger Smith Live. We Meeting are live. the people <clears throat> and uh, uh, transmitting from uh, 47th and Lex, the great corner of Fort, uh, North East corner of 47th and Lex. Yeah. Well, there's a tremendous dynamism here. I would like to talk with you specifically about the sign at the Roger Smith Hotel and the future kind of renovation. Um, project that you are working on? Well, we're now, we've just finished the obligatory uh, repairs in the building from local law uh, 11 and, and others. We're coming down, lowering down the, the uh, famous uh, uh, sidewalk bridge is about to be removed. And uh, unveiling, in a way, the um, uh, completed uh, freeze of the um, uh, you know, right uh, over pedestrian pedestrian walkway, with uh, urban crystals uh, uh, built off of a four foot um, uh, matrix, and 150 feet wrapping around the building. Um, included uh, below that are panels of bronze, and uh, above on the marquee will be a um, a shaped sculptural. Um, uh, Sonata, if you will, a little uh, poem, which um, uh, is going to be made out of stainless steel, being made out of stainless steel, as we speak. And then we are uh, going to uh, ornament the uh, exterior of the marquee with uh, a, uh, a signage, uh, which you're going to be introduced to in this segment, I think, and also a 40-foot uh, high. Uh, vertical sign which will uh, hopefully be as nostalgic but very modern 
as the existing sign, which is uh, currently uh, nostalgic green neon, and um, well, how this will develop as we uh, finish it. Um, it'll be much like a uh, fresh painting with uh, acrylic or with oil paintings like you have behind us where it's going to be created uh, by hand and um, with uh, uh, building, ho hopefully with a freshness and a vigor which uh, will uh, inspire. As an artist, as a sculptor, you've been entertaining yourself with the brand of Roger Smith for years now. What inspired you to take on the renovation of, of the sign and the facade? I mean, uh, walking back to the uh, question of um, uh, what is a building like? What, what, what makes this thing interesting? And how do we uh, do something interesting in this building? And, and what makes it, uh, well, we started with the name, Roger Smith, and we said, well, how do you, how do you uh, personify the building? And we said, well, it would be Roger Smith. Who is Roger Smith? We started talking about the building and what I found in the building with the people that were working in it was a, a kind of a mystical sense that there was a, a connection, a physical connection to the building, some um, you know, identification with it, almost as if it was part of them. And uh, many of those people still exist, they're still working here. And it's uh, once you identify the fact that there's, a, uh, that there's something a mystical, some connection that people make with a building. And then you say, well, what kind of building, uh, what should it be? What should that building be then to respond to people's interest? And so we, we began to discuss what was Roger Smith and who was Roger Smith. And we personified the building as Roger Smith. Who is the building, who is the Roger Smith? It might be the answer, it is the building. And you might say that the building, but, and then what is the characteristic of the building? Well, this is one room in the building, but it's the energy of your enthusiasm and the rest of your crew here to build a, a Web 2.0 connection with the rest of the world, which is responding with such vigor in their, um, in their, uh, you know, in their worlds through these various devices. Well, we're actively involved, and we're going to do that. You can you can probably hear right now that we are in New York City. We are in Midtown. This is a uh, a center for creativity, and unexpectedly, in the middle of Midtown. Um, and you can hear it right now. You can hear the uh, the uh, life and the sirens of the city responding to Roger Smith. And um, the, I have everyone seems to have um, their own uh, interpretation on the sign. Now, on the one hand, it, it's formulaic in that it's how, how many words is in how many letters are in in the Roger Smith sign. R O G E R S M I T H 10. Right. H O T E L. So, so the each word each word has 5 letters. We're going to do it on both sides of the sign, the big sign. We'll do it on both sides of the sign and on the front side, which will look down 47th Street. And theoretically they will be lit on the edges if it, if you if you as you're looking at the uh, at the patterns there on the edges of them we will light those edges. Uh, I think we'll also light it from uh, the, up underneath as well, so that it'll now uh, the light will play off the stainless steel, and the uh, shapes of the lettering will be, um, you know, vigorous. And hopefully, and these are one-inch panels that you're getting on the on the um, one-inch uh, lettering, but theoretically we could make it thicker or uh, make them more three-dimensional. Are you going to keep the neon green? Well, the neon green is, is, should be part of the uh, answer, I think. I think there should be a neon uh, component to it. Roger Smith is an idea. The identity of the hotel builds off of that idea of who is Roger Smith and personify the building. And I say, what would Roger Smith think about? What kind of a man is he, was he? We see him as an inventive and uh, adventuresome uh, visitor to the city. Location. 47th and Lex in Midtown Manhattan. As I looked at this building, I, well, I studied uh, all the other buildings to find out how you put ornament on a building and how do you, how do you add things to a building that would be uh, appropriate, maybe elegant, maybe. Yes, uh, Chrysler Building was uh, absolutely wonderful and it's uh, those, those uh, flechas, the uh, arrows that go up and the um, 
of course, the beauty of that of the gargoyles is wonderful. To allow for different lighting situations, depending on the year or what's going on in the hotel or the or the um, or the uh, well, you know capriciousness of it, I would like to have that variety. I'm, I'm, I don't know how we'll do it, but we're working on it. <laughs>